All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome to my first video for my channel. I uh, figured I'd take a moment to introduce myself and talk a little bit about the game that I'm going to be playing. Uh, my name is Sovel Z, and the game we are playing is Paranormal. It is developed by Matt Cohen. It's it. Oh, I didn't really expect this to happen. Um, I haven't played this game since very, very early beta. This game is still in beta. But uh, it was pretty much just released the last time that I had played it. Played through it multiple times, thoroughly enjoyed it. It's had several updates since then, so uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to be getting into whenever we play this game. I know I'm a little late to the party on this game, but uh, it was recommended that I do this video by a friend of mine. So, uh, Paranormal is a found footage style horror game, which um, you are recording all the paranormal activity that's going on in your house but what makes the game unique is that no two hauntings are the same every time you reboot the game reload the game play again stay away from my beer <sighs> oh shit <laughs> this would also be a good time to point out that uh, I will be swearing in these videos especially if something scares the absolute shit out of me I will swear at it so <laughs> Consider it not safe for work when your boss is hanging out in your cubicle. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, no two hauntings will be the same. Every time that you play the game again, the the clues will be in different places. Uh, different events will happen at different times. You might not see the same thing twice in five or six playthroughs. So it makes it really unique. Uh, the game is mouse and keyboard or Xbox controller compatible. So. I will be playing with the Xbox controller as soon as I hit play here. And since I'm going to assume that uh, no one else has played the game, that they're watching me play, I'm going to go ahead and go the full version, uh, stopping and reading everything that I can before I run out of battery. Each night will be broken up into a separate episode so that you're not it's watching uh, Friday, July you know, 1st, an hour's worth of gameplay. Hello. My name is Mattel Clark. Hello, is Mattel. I'm an artist, and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. Lately, things have been going bump in the night. A lot. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. This is the studio. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I picked those up at Amazon. They help me visualize the 3D space when I'm working on my sculptures. Okay. Some works in progress over there on the mat. Hopefully something will happen here in a second. Yeah. I'm really trying to show that this is real and that I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. Oh, we're all trying to get famous on the internet. Okay. Night one, let's do this. Okay, what is this? Was this here last time? It's collectible, okay. Now let's see. House built during the prohibition. Seller uses brewery and brothel. Many owners sell the house within one year of living there for reasons unknown. Deaths. Sarah Foreman, a sex slave, was murdered in the cellar. Her jaw and tongue had been removed and she was left to die alone bleeding. Ugh. Jeremy Flint was found dead in the bathtub. Evidence indicates suicide. Jennifer Flint was found dead in the kitchen, impaled by exposed pipes. An unknown, unnamed infant was found dead in the attic. Oh yeah, totally makes me want to buy a house. Okay, creepy little mannequins hanging out. I mean, we've got a few of the smaller ones for art, but I mean... Ugh. Anyway, nope, can't go, can't leave, can't pick up the keys. Those are cool pieces. This is a really cool one. What's that? Oh, it's the radio. Okay. What is this? September 11th, 1984. He's toying with me. Every time I cry, he makes the house shake. I can't do anything. The door won't open. I'm trapped. September 13th, 1984. Marcus, please forgive me for everything. I had to move on when you died. I had to. Jeremy was just so close and so much like you. 
Oh, we're jumping in both feet first, huh? Second, 1984. The baby was born today and had Jeremy's face. Marcus killed it. I'm numb. The baby stopped breathing as I held it in my arms. As I cried, my baby stared me in the eyes. Only to have those eyes of his roll back into his head. Oof. The only Oof. thing I like to see. My suicide attempts Oof. continue to fail. My husband's spirit is torturing me. October 13th, 1984. Let me die. Please, Marcus. Let me die. Holy shit. The house is haunted. Yeah, haunted as fuck. Okay. Moving forward. That's not a good sign. Excellent. July 4th, All right. 1984. I hear the fireworks outside. As the people likely stare and wonder, I loathe them. Loud, bright, and pointless. Is my anger a product more of Marcus, or do I truly feel this way? He's been gone for a whole year today. I miss him so much. July 6th, 1984. I must be imagining things. I was awoken by Marcus's voice today. I must be going insane. Cabin fever, perhaps? I haven't left my home since his passing. His brother, Jeremy, wow. is my only contact <laughs> to the outside world. Oh, his July brother, 9th, Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy has been acting different around me. The way he looks at me, like how Marcus looked at me. I must confess, I look at him similarly. I'm falling in love. July 28th, 1984. This time I know Marcus is watching me. I was in bed with Jeremy and I got a huge chill down my spine. All the pictures of him I have shattered. Glass was everywhere. I fear for my life. Man. Some grim stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, hello. You weren't there before. Guess I definitely won't be leaving then. Nope. Oh. Okay. Trash dog food. Sleep the day away. Sleep the fucking day away. Oof. Okay, let's check here. Nothing too unusual so far. It's kind of progressing. Oh, shit! Charged by my bed when I'm sleeping tonight. Jesus! Well, I guess it heard me and doesn't didn't appreciate that. <laughs> out. Nothing really to see here. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go with a no for that first night. Especially not with how low my battery power already is. Don't want to Run out of battery on the first night. Oh. oh yeah, that definitely got closer. Oh shit. Don't run out of power. Run. Oh. Fuck. Okay, that concludes night one. After we watch this, of course. Oh, 
creepy. Nothing. God, can you imagine trying to sleep through this? Ooh, that's creepy. All right. Night one over. See you guys tomorrow for night two.